Hey guys, and today we're going to go through how Vault integrates in with Revit. Now, to start with, I'm going to touch on a question that I get asked quite frequently. And does Vault work with Revit Server? And the answer is yes. Um, if you're not 100% sure on what Revit Server is or what it does, I'm going to give a little bit of an introduction to what it is. If you think about a typical scenario in a single office when you're using Revit, you have your central model. And each user connects into the central model so everyone could work on the same model. So everyone's connected in. Now, if you've got multiple sites and fairly large models, bandwidth becomes a bit of an issue when you're trying to update a large model across the network. So what Revit Server does is you still have a central model, but each site has an application called an accelerator. Now, each user at every site, now that site could be in the same country, could be in a different country, could be all around the world, doesn't really matter. But what happens is each site gets an accelerator. That accelerator talks back to the central model, but each local user at each site talks to the accelerator. So you're still working in your local network and you're updating your files to the Revit accelerator. The accelerator then sends the, the updates back to the central model. So everyone is still technically working on the same model but you're just working locally in your little system and the accelerator is pushing the updates back to the central model. Okay, so let's see how Revit now integrates in with Vault. So Revit does have a direct CAD integration with Vault. So once Vault and Revit are installed on my PC, you will see that you will get a Vault tab on your Revit environment. Okay, so up the top here, we can see that I have my Vault button. So if I just hover over that here, you'll see that I've got my login, my logout, I've got open from Vault, save Vault, link from Vault. I'll go through those buttons in just a second. But the first thing I'm gonna do, let's, let's, just, uh, let's just open a file. Now, if I was to open up this, uh, this demo model that I've got here, so what this does, this will open the file from Vault. It'll copy it from the Vault server to my local machine. I am now working on this file locally on my machine. So I'm not transferring data back and forth across the server. It is stored locally on my machine. So all the changes that I make will be kept local. Okay, so now if I just head back up to my to my Vault tab here, then I'm just gonna cover some of the buttons that you get with, with Vault. So obviously I've got my open from Vault button, which I've just used. I've got my save to vault button. So as I'm working with my file, if I, if I think, okay, I've made a big change, I wanna save this to vault, I will save the file to vault. It'll update the file in vault, but it will keep it checked out to me so I can continue to work on it. I've then got my load families. So my families are stored in my vault, so they're not on my C drive. And as you can see down the left-hand side here, they're fully indexed. So all of the properties that are inside of those family files are indexed by vault, which means I can search upon them. So you can see I've just clicked on doors, and as I, I bury further down into the infrastructure, I can see all the different categories and types of doors that I've got. So they're fully indexed inside of vault. So you don't need to start searching around through your, your local sort of C drive to find your files. If I just close this box down now, I've also got link from vault and import from vault. So if I need to sort of link files in, sort of a reference file, or if I want to load files in from vault, I do have my link and my import from vault here. I've also got my change state, change category, and revise file. So these are vault commands. Now, if I just quickly flip over to vault, you can see here that I've got some files here that have there's the file that I'm currently working on. It's checked out to me. It's work in progress. It's got a particular revision scheme. So I can modify those directly from Revit so I never actually have to leave the Revit environment. Now, Revit is still Revit, so you can see down the left-hand side, it's just I've got my sheets, I've got my properties. Now, if you do want to add your sheets into Vault, you can. So if you just create yourself a sheet set, you tell it where you want it to go in Vault, give it a sheet set name, click OK select the sheets that I want, click OK, and then that will then load them into Vault. Now they get loaded into Vault as uh, visualization files, so DWF files. They can then be shared with external parties, contractors, admin staff, whoever really you give access to sharing it with. So you can see there, there's my visualization file. It has a state, it has a revision. And if I come down the bottom here, there's my visualization file. It has a few little sort of measuring commands. So 
uh, any non-CAD use can come in and sort of take a few little measurements and have a look around the sheet. Vault also links in with some of the Autodesk 360 sites such as Fusion Team. Um, you've got uh, some of the collaboration tools that come with Vault such as Project Sync and Shared Views. So if you do need to share these files as I mentioned earlier with uh, third parties, contractors, admin staff, whoever it may be, you can do with the link to the 360 sites. Now I'll just jump back over to Revit. Um, as see I've got here, I've got my add files, my add folder buttons to for adding in you know, particular files and folders into Vault. Now I suppose where I'm going with this is in Vault, once the file goes into Vault, it's controlled by Vault. It gets a lifecycle, a workflow, it gets a revision scheme, it gets categorized and it becomes a managed document inside of Vault and Vault take cares of all of that. Once you check it out and you work on it in Revit, it's just a Revit file. So you still work with it locally on your machine as you would always. So now I'm just going to quickly show you a video of how Revit works with Vault. I've got some configuration done so that it works to a, a BS PAS 1192 standard. Hope you enjoy.